Hey, String Squad, just making a quick video here. Your new programming uh, for this block will be up soon. Uh, we are entering basically our last couple weeks of this programming. So we got two weeks in this block. We have two weeks in the next block and then we are done. So we're gonna incorporate uh, a bunch of new intensifiers, exercises, things like that to geek out a little bit more progress uh, for these last couple weeks. So just kind of re reviewing and touching on a few new things. You'll see um, mile rep matches are still in there. So remember mile rep matches, what you do on your first set, you're gonna do on your next following sets. Um, just making sure that you're matching that first uh, reps on that first set um, and using rest pauses if you need. So if you don't hit those reps, um, you can take a couple of seconds and then do a few more reps um, to get to that prescribed volume. Um, mile reps are gonna be incorporated now. So true mile reps are basically just on your last set of your exercise. Um, you're gonna go to failure, you're gonna rest five to 15 seconds, you're gonna go to failure again, you're gonna keep doing that sequence um, until you get, or you can't get five reps on that AMRAP set, okay? Should be about two to three. Um, the last thing is gonna be length and partial. So length and partials, um, you'll see all these things in your workouts and it'll say just see description and it'll, if you go up to the description, it'll explain it um, there, but I'm explaining it now and I'll explain it again uh, later tonight. Um, but these are, basically small range of motion reps in the most stretched position. So it's gonna be a little bit different um, for each exercise, but I'll be able to help you figure out which position that is for the one you have. But let's say um, a single arm preacher curl. So like, um, or a, yeah, single arm preacher curl. You're out here, you do your AMRAP set um, on your last set only. Um, and then you're gonna basically do small range of motion reps from that bottom position, okay? That very lengthened position, um, which you wanna spend a lot more time in. Um, the last thing I'm going to touch on, uh, making sure these last couple weeks that we're hitting our activity levels. So making sure that we're getting in, I try and get in at least uh, two hours of zone two work a week. Um, that comes in the form of weighted walking, running, biking, and in our FYFs, which I keep kind of at a lower intensity for myself. Um, if you guys are not coming to FYFs, you're basically getting absolutely zero conditioning in throughout the week, um, which isn't a good thing. We want you guys uh, for a couple of reasons. So one, um, it'll help you uh, recover between training sessions. So you're at aerobic respiration right now as we're talking. So your aerobic system is working to help you recover. Um, if you don't have a well-developed aerobic system, you're not going to recover as well. Second thing is it helps you recover in between sets. So in between the sets of your exercise, you'll be able to rest less if you have a better developed aerobic system. Um, it also is just gonna help you guys burn more calories and get leaner um, throughout these last couple of weeks. And then it's just healthy for you. Um, we haven't been doing a lot of conditioning uh, just cause we're, we're more strength focused, we're more muscle building focused right now. Uh, you guys have been missing out on those conditioning days a little bit uh, in the classes, um, but it is really good for you and it extends your lifespan uh, more than the strength stuff that we're doing to be honest. Uh, so. I'm gonna challenge you guys this week to get at least 90 minutes of dedicated zone two work in. Uh, post your workout when you're done in the, uh, the strength squad group uh, and let me know if you get that 90 minute or when you get that 90 minutes in. Uh, one thing when you're calculating, if you wanna calculate your zone two more accurately, it's 220 minus your age. You take that number, then you figure out what uh, 60 to 70% of that is. Uh, and that is where you're gonna work in between for your zone two. For, for me, that's like 125 beats per minute um, to 135. I'll put the uh, formula in the description below and I'll see you guys tonight.